Hi everybody. This is really July 3rd. John was wrong yesterday when he made the recording. So today's July 3rd. We might be able to squeeze in some fireworks later. I don't know. They're going to have it at one of the lakes around here. Not sure. But today we have the roof all done. I'm in the shade. It's hot. It's hot as hell out here. Um, the humidity level is off the charts. Feels good in the shade though. The, in, the heat index will be three digits, somewhere in the three digits, but um, at least we can work inside. I have on my um, uh, sun blocking shirt to keep me from getting fried, um, and it's kind of hot and sticky, so I'm wishing for some more breeze, but not much going on here. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to get try to get as much zip board up as we can. And my job, John has given me a job already, and my job is to measure and cut the zip board to fill in the hole there. And then right down here in our plans, our plans have changed. We were going to put the fireplace or the wood burning stove in the corner over there. But I decided to make it more centrally located and also closer to the door to bring in wood, which I thought was a brilliant idea. But it's going to go right here by the door. So it, it'll sit right in here. It'll be able to heat up mom's room through the little hallway on the north side. And then we can blow some air. And we really like a cool room at night. That's another reason I wanted it away from our bedroom wall. And our door to enter into our bedroom will be on the south side. So hopefully we'll have a happy medium and have a nice cool place to sleep at nights with warmth throughout the day but that means that this window needs to move because I'm going to put curtains up to help block the cold during the winter time so, so that this, frame is moving over to the right yeah this window is going to move down and we're going to start with this stud Go back three, 36.5 inches, and this will be our um, new window. We're hoping to just cut this out, move that over to here, which will be nice because if you look this way now, the door on the left is the one that opens. So this door opens, and so we can get a good cross breeze here. It'll be a little bit behind the sofa, but that's still good because we're getting cross breeze and we're working with the size windows that we got for free, which are casement windows. And I've studied up on that and they say those are the most energy efficient windows you can get. And ours are really high quality windows. Oh, show them what you did with your uh, window, bedroom window casement and how we flipped it upside down. Well, you know, you've seen the videos. We have a ton of little papillons that run around all the time right and this is all screen right here this whole window so if i put it in the way it's supposed to go in this transom would be up on top now i know that i'm going to have to put up with doggy nose prints here and clean on a regular basis but again this is my bedroom so i'll be able to keep them out and not have to clean as much as i will in the living room but I turned it upside down so that they would not put their little paws on my screen and tear up my screen. So we did it upside down. We'll have to open it this way. Uh, and it seems to work good. So I'm happy with that. We'll do the same thing over here. Mom's window did not have a transom, so it's just full length, but she'll keep all the puppies, all the dogs out of her bedroom too, other than her um, little Shih Tzu. And so, try to save our screens. That's the whole purpose. Um, but this right here is our bedroom. The bed will go right here. We'll be able to look out here, look out here, have a nice cross breeze across the bed from south to north. And then we got the nice eastern exposure, which at some point this will become an enclosed porch, a screened in porch. So um, we'll be able to see the sun, but no sun will come in. 
that that's coming down the road but a while later so we'll have protection from the east sun here um, but our job today is zip board and lifting up the four by eight sheets to John from down under here I did something to my rotator cuff so um, I'm going to take it easy, just cut things and help him lift. As long as I don't do that backward motion thing and try to reach behind me or something, and I just lift up, hold, I should be okay. Um, but progress, we got to make progress because it's just too hot. And we need to be in a well-insulated area and get the spray foam in and just get moving. So I do still have to buy a 32 inch exterior door I'd like half window um, that needs to go. that's gonna go right there mm -hmm. and then mom's window is going to be another white down there final window um, a 36 by 54 or whatever that is so only those two things are left to buy well you got the casement window for the bathroom if you're gonna do that oh yeah I've got to figure out something um, I'm thinking a casement window towards the back of the bathtub that fits between the studs so I don't have to put a header in and I can just slide that in and we'll be able to open it get the steam out plus get a little air in and when you're sitting in the bathtub I'd like to put it where you can see out and it should be far enough away from the spray. I mean, it'll get some, but it shouldn't affect You can take a, a shower without somebody seeing you, not that anybody out here Well, if our neighbors want see to see us from the top of the hill with their um, telescope or binox, go for it. I don't mind showing you whatever I got if you're that interested. But um, this is my kitchen window. John fixed this. So our living area will turn out to be about 14 by 14. I can't remember the dimensions on the kitchen, but it's just in here. Down the wall, we'll have a shared wall for the plumbing. So this is where your room. kitchen sink is gonna be. Yeah, I'll just run the water along here. But the main plumbing will stay on that with the um, propane also for the water heater and for the stove. That all goes there. Should be easy on plumbing. John's bartered out to get us some spray foam insulation for our website and everything, so that's coming. We'll have five inches of spray foam all throughout. Um, we will do a drop ceiling in both bedrooms and the bathroom. The rest will be open like this. Uh, those are our plans. I need to sit down and just kind of go over that. We should have a live session and just talk it over so people can understand where we are what we're doing but you know we were supposed to be in the house by june 24th haha <laughs> that is our second two-year anniversary for being out here on the land we moved out here june 24th of 16. um that time has come and gone but john got hurt you know there's just life life gets in the way and we're not doing anything even though I did hurt my rotator cuff to really kill ourselves. We're not. You said John got hurt? Yeah. You skipped over it. You got to tell about my story. John didn't listen to me. Didn't put in the, the decking that I said you probably ought to. So then he forgot the decking wasn't screwed in and it started sliding and he almost went through and he overextended his fingers and hurt that. So, and Took then... Took a week off. Yeah, and during that time, the new um, Red Merle Aussie that I got for breeding purposes decided that the chickens looked like fun and her and Monkey were off licking on what I didn't know what it was until I got up on it and it was a maimed chicken. So I went ahead and sold her because I just don't have the time or energy to try to train to leave my chickens alone. I want to have a homestead that um, everything gets along and there's a more harmony than disharmony. So I went ahead and sold her to an awesome couple down in Texas and John and I, since he bummed out his finger, 
we got in the car 11 o'clock on a Friday night and drove down to Texas to his brother's house so we could have a short visit and met the people who drove up from Austin we met in Dallas so it was an eight-hour trip down for us and we took a longer time coming back but um, so we did that sold grace she's at a lovely place at an exotic animal ranch down by Austin and uh, things like that you know mom having two surgeries and needing more help slowed us down on the progress but you know that's life so what do I say do I say that by July 24 will be in let's go for that let's go for saying that this place will be done and shooting for July 24 done meaning the shell the shell um, and the foam and the, and, foam, and the electrical plumbing uh, hopefully the walls will be up by then too and we can start moving in and John's going to see about bartering out for the floor with the website so we can have some flooring in here waterproof waterproof very important um, but yeah I think what is it it's July 3rd that gives us three weeks three weeks to really crank on it and get it done so watch and see if you can hold us accountable and get us closer to being in uh, but now that we have shade I can work out here all day that's another thing that hampered us from about 11 o'clock until 4 I didn't come out because I'm not about to get fried and burned John can tan I cannot so um, I I stayed yep inside and then um oh and our spring is dried up again yeah, yeah. so gathering water so will be a uh, if you happen to have any extra water tanks we'd like to put together a reserve <laughs> of about fifteen thousand gallons which would hold us through uh, probably any kind of uh dry spell again and uh so anyway donations are accepted and water <laughs> tanks would be accepted well it, you know so we will be water, water gatherers again this year um, and Mariah will be having another litter of pups in the fall and we'll use that money for um, helping either beef up our storage system or putting in a well. Our neighbors were going to go in with a well with us but then they had some um, financial surprises come up and weren't able to do it at, at this time so we went ahead and put the money from the puppies into the roof and a few other things and getting everything ready to finish here so if it's not one thing it's another on the homestead and we get frustrated we get pissy with each other we yell we carry on we get over it we make up we like each other again and uh, that's life on the homestead and especially when you're with somebody 24-7 um, she likes know. me about 22 hours a day <laughs> on some days I like him 24 hours a day some days he likes me six hours out of the day uh, <laughs> so we just keep going it's a, it's a good thing there's lots of space so and we can yell as loud as we want and nobody really hears so we do get our frustrations out but um you should hear some of the yelling i should actually uh unspeed up the sped up session so you can hear some of this yeah I, I don't think you really want to hear that nastiness I, I, I am a cusser I, I do cuss and i i do have a really high intensity level and I, I am a redhead, and I don't know if it's because people told me ever since I was little that redheads have a temper, or if we really do have a temper, who knows on that one. But, um, yeah, I can get a little on the pissy side, and John's a little bit strong-willed, so uh, little? we are able yeah. to make it, though, <laughs> you know. And he here's my philosophy, the next best thought. When I get really pissy, I'm always looking for the next best thought, whether that is... The breeze just came through. I didn't step it, step in goose poop. Um, I avoided this, or you know, it doesn't have to be any big, big, shining examples of the next best thought. It's like the next best thought, which is not killing John. So if I can get past that and move on, we can get into happiness sooner, huh, honey? Pretty much. Yeah. 
So, um, and when she's mad at me, she won't. Oh, look, a little bee on you. When she's mad at me, uh, yeah, all food production stops, so I have to revert to uh, Vienna sausages or anything I can find around here. I can't believe I let him buy those. Those are those nasty things to have in the house. Staple but, food of the uh, Ozarks. <laughs> it, it, he loves it, so what, what am I to say other than yuck and look away? Um, but we'll show you the progress by the end of the day, and we'll get together and have a big talk and explain more. About we should probably do a live session that way people can chime in and ask questions and stuff yeah, too. Yeah, let's schedule a live section session in a couple of days or something. Maybe over the weekend. I forgot a chunk of this done. Yeah, let's let's do something so that they can find out and people have questions about how we afford all of this and that's another reason it's taking so long. We get chunks and we use our chunks and then we wait and we get chunks and we use our chunks of money and then we wait so um if you want us to do this faster send money <laughs> <laughs> yeah his brother said you know he, we were falling behind in videos and weren't doing enough work um because his entertainment value was being kind of cramped and john said well if you want to send fifteen we we'll just go straight on through and you won't have any lag time but Slowly but surely wins the race here. Okay, guys, we're going to go to work and um, see us. So I guess this, this video is 16 minutes beauty. long. This will just kind of be our update for the homestead. We'll, we'll switch over to doing more uh, framing and uh, zip boarding stuff in the next video. Yeah, yeah, so you, you have an idea and you can see our plans and our scripts. And I mean, it's not like we haven't already moved the window once when we decided to add on another. To that, put that way. window, this window, I think went down there, or that was a door or something that went over here. I don't know. No, the door was here, and that window was supposed to just be... Oh, uh, that was where the bedroom was yeah. until we did the addition. So right. there was another addition that we, then we took. I think that window ended up going over there. No, that window, there. that window right there... Oh, this window. Is actually going to be oh, this, this window, window here. Now, this that window. window, which is going to be this window, is now going to be this window that window and then our other window was always going in the, the bedroom so we had two that were the same so yeah that's the changes that we got to go through which makes john crazy but if we're going to live in here for a while and we want it to be functional then sometimes your plans change and you got to be able to go with the flow which mr puckered bum has trouble going with the flow sometimes. He doesn't like us to change our plans. Kelly has diagnosed me with Asperger's syndrome. I don't like change very much. And when I do, I get a little frustrated and pissy and stompy. Yeah, he does, but you know, we're working it through, we're figuring it out. And, and staying married. <laughs> yeah. and, and making changes, which cause a lot of extra work. But in the end, it's going to feel better. I'm going to like it. And depending on how long we have to be here before we can move into the roundhouse, which could be two years down the road. And then this will turn into guest area and maybe the TV room. We'll just make that a smaller area. And um, the kitchen will move out of here and it will move over there. So there's, there's plans. There's changes. There's different things happening. And the roundhouse is supposed to go... Where that well, circle is right there. The four wheel is sitting in the middle. Yeah, four wheel is sitting right in the center of it. So that's going to be our mm -hmm. stucco and uh, like light, light straw, straw clay. Uh -huh. So it'll be very adobe like. Room feeling, warm, cozy, comfy, rounded, all that kind of stuff. Insulated well. Um, it's going to be one of those. I think I might do a reciprocal roof on it. I think I really like this. I think that would be a good idea. So. We're going to make that, and so this will be left over for family to come visit, friends. We might even build a light straw clay down on the bottom of the hill past the cedar line. Um, next to my soon-to-be lavender farm will be a light straw clay that we might turn into an um, Airbnb. Help the land pay for us instead of John having to do so many websites. That's, that's the plan next, is to have um, production coming off like water buffalo, um, the lavender field, 
and maybe I'll pack it sometime. Uh, but we'll have some production coming off the land, rotational grazing, uh, fixing up our, a lot of permaculture, a, a lot of fixing up our, our land to make it viable and really rich. So that's it. Like and subscribe. Um, he wants me to say like us and subscribe. Hit the bell. Please hit the bell if you would like. To be notified. To be notified. <laughs> See, he's all about <laughs> the, um, the real stuff and I'm all about the dreaming stuff. So um, follow us. We're dreamers. Take time. Follow us. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.